Hello viewers, I'm Simon Preston and this is Reggae Boys Commentary. The Jamaica Under-17 national team has lost their second match against Canada going down 3-1 at the Mona Bowl at the University of the West Indies on the Mona campus here in Jamaica. Now the Canadians took the lead in the 43rd minute through Romeo. In the second half, Mohamed extended their lead in the 55th minute but on the 56th minute, Topi Pulled one back for the Jamaicans, but in the 89th minute, Luke sealed the deal for the Canadians to secure this 3-1 victory. The Jamaicans have scored, have scored a goal. You know, against the United States, we didn't score a single goal. Now we have scored a goal. It is quite... It shows that there are signs of improvement with this team. I, a lot of people have been pointing fingers at different individuals like players for some examples, Andrew Edwards, but I honestly think that Andrew Edwards is a person that should not be pointed fingers at, especially and the players as well. Canada is a better team at the under-17 level than Jamaica and getting these friendly matches, I am just happy that we're getting regular matches together because this Canadian team has been together since January 2016 and if you look at our team that we have not been in camp straightforward for the past 11 months like Canada has been. We've had breaks in our camps and our players go and go back to their high schools to play schoolboy football. The Canadian players don't do that. They join camp whenever they have their camps and they leave just for a few days to play the reserves game, MLS reserves games, etc. So that's basically their system. So they're always together the majority of the time. So for the results, I'm not too concerned about that. What would I like to see? Prior to the Conquer of Under-17 Championship, which will take place in Panama in 2017, I would like to see Jamaica play at least two more matches. Ideally, I would like to see four more friendly internationals, but ideally, ideally, as I said, four matches, but at least two matches. So if it's two against Mexico, I'll take that. Two against Costa Rica, I'll take that. Two against El Salvador, I'll take that. Two against another Caribbean team, Trinidad and Tobago, I will take that gladly as well. More matches, more preparation helps you to be better and spark. If you look at the times that we've qualified for the Under-17 FIFA World Cup in 1999 and 2011, we played matches back to back to back to back to back to back to back. A lot of friendly matches to prepare us. And I feel that if we can secure more, then yes, we can go to the Under-17 FIFA World Cup. We can. We certainly have the players and the capability to get there. Do not watch the results against Canada and the United States over the past eight weeks or so. These are preparation matches. It allows the coaches to experiment a bit. We lost a few players who had to go back to Canada, our Canadian-based players who are in prep schools and varsity teams. So at this point in time, getting the matches, that is what I'm happy for. If I had to rate Jamaica's performances out of 10 from these two matches, I would give them a 6 out of 10. There's areas to improve on, especially out wide, being less one-dimensional, add a bit more creativity in the final third. Those are some key areas that Jamaica needs to improve on. I'm Simon Preston, this is Reggae Boys Commentary. Don't forget to like our Facebook page, Reggae Boys Commentary, and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, Reggae Boys Commentary.